Alright, so basically what I have done here is I built a simple H-bridge circuit. Um, the uh, 220 ohm resistors that I have here and here I replaced for um, 510 ohm because I couldn't exactly find them. In the middle between here you have a capacitor which is um, non-polarized and we have a motor. Um, so that motor, basically what, what this circuit does is from the positive side, when you have a charge put through here, what it'll do is it'll only take current from the transistor and allow it to pass one way through the motor which is diagonally like this. When there's nothing there, the circuit stays closed, but on the other side, um, the current goes through the other way down to ground. Uh, so basically, what that looks like is this. So we have one, two, three, four transistors. Um, basically, if you looked at the picture, it's not too much of a stretch to get this. Um, but yeah, basically here's the motor that's plugged in and I have it attached to an old lens body. I'm doing this for a computer engineering project. And so basically this red wire I have plugged in here with the end sticking here. This is basically just a little probe to make sure I can see if it works. <laughs> so it's a good thing testing the circuit before you hand it in. Um, but basically this will be replaced with um, outputs from a parallel port. So we can watch the lens move. Uh, the motor that's attached right now is the zoom, uh, which moves the front, um, which in turn, well, the bottom lens, which in turn will turn the entire thing because that's stationary currently. So here we go. That's switching it to that side. I also use motors with a spring clutch on them, so no matter what, you can't strip out gears. And then here's moving the other way. Pretty cool, isn't it? I mean, I'll do a little overhead for you so you can see what it all looks like. So here is one of the outs. And here's the other out. To the left, to the right. Anyway, now I need to do another one for here, right over here, um, which will just mirror this one, just I have it on the opposite side so it's a little bit easier to follow. But that will control the second motor, which is on the top, which is right here, which will be the focus.